and welcome. My name is Julia Dilworth and I have a do-it-yourself column in 24 Hours newspaper. Opus has invited me here to their downtown location to try out something I've never done before, uh, block printing. And here to show me how to do it is lifestyle blogger and printmaker Sherilyn Kunal. So Sherilyn, why are we doing block printing? Well, block printing is a really great entry into printmaking. It's super easy. Anybody can do this in their own home and you can make multiple prints in one fell swoop. So our first step is to do our photocopy transfer. So you'll need a fresh photocopy from a toner based copier. You'll have your easy cut block, a char pack blender pen, and you'll have a baron. To start our transfer, um, we'll just use our char pack blender pens and you're basically just going to color over the entire area that your image is on and you'll see the paper getting saturated with the char pack. And you want to try and get as much of the blender pen on there as possible so you want to make sure the image part is nice and dark. Okay. What is this doing right now? So the xylene in the marker is melting the toner onto the block. You can go ahead and take your Baron and just go over the entire area and what that's just doing is smoothing it out and really making sure the toner in the photocopy is fusing onto the easy cut. Once you have your image completely covered in the char pack marker and burnished, you can just go ahead and peel the extra paper off. Oh, yeah, that looks perfect. Okay, <laughs> great. Okay, so our next step is we're going to start cutting using the speedball lino handle. What you're going to be using is this bench hook, and this is just going to hold your block in place while we cut. Um, the number one sort of safety rule is to always cut away from your hands and your body. We're using a number two blade, which is kind of an intermediate medium width blade. And this is great just for getting your outside basic cuts done. How deep are you doing it? So you just want to be kind of gentle. Um, we can always go back in and cut deeper. The ink is going to get caught on the high parts that we're carving. The carved out bits will be the negative of the image. Lino cutting is done on actual linoleum, which is a lot harder to cut than this is. Easy cut is a lot softer and safer too. We've just switched to a larger size blade. It creates more of a U-shaped groove than a V. This is just going to help us trim away the excess from the edge of the block. And this doesn't need to be really accurate because you've already gone with your smaller blade and made the accurate cuts. We're just going to take a regular pair of scissors and we're going to cut the extra bit of the block off. So you're just going to follow that channel that you made around your image. And you see how easy that cuts? Like, yeah, leg butter. Today we're going to be printing on t-shirts. Now, there is a little bit of prep work involved. Uh, these are already pre-washed, um, just to get out any um, sizing that the manufacturer might have left behind. What we're going to do is take this piece of artboard, spray it using some easy tack, just to give it a little stick, slide it inside the shirt. That's gonna give us a sturdy surface to print on as well as preventing the ink from leaking through to the back. We're gonna go ahead and start inking up our blocks now. We're using Gamlin Relief Ink. The lovely thing about oil-based inks is they're super pigmented and really rich in color, so you won't have to heat set this when we're all done, which means it won't wash out in your laundry. Use both sides of your palette knife in a back and forth motion. Back and forth, like uh, both sides of your palette knife, so yeah, okay. like you're buttering bread. Now we're going to take our brayers, what you're going to do is roll out your ink to the consistency of an orange peel. So do you know how orange peels have that speckly surface? Yeah. That's what we're going for on our glass palette here. When you've got that effect, you know your brayer is evenly loaded. We're ready to start rolling the ink onto our blocks. Mm -hmm. um, I always find it handy to do a little test run. So what we'll do first is we'll just test out our block print on a creative card and you can see how that stippled orange peel effect is transferring onto the block. And the ink is catching on all the high parts and the low parts where we did our design of the vein are not having any ink. So they're going to show up in the negative. That's looking good. Okay. Yeah. So I think we can move on to the next step which is actually printing our designs. Okay. 
Um, what you'll do is you'll take your block and carefully turn it over onto your card. And similarly to when we did our photocopy transfer, you're gonna use the Baron and it's just applying even pressure to try and get the ink to transfer cleanly from the block onto the card. But you're pressing down as opposed to yeah. doing little circles. Yeah, just pressing down the big reveal. Mine's like a little bit lighter mm -hmm. like around here. Could be that there's not quite enough ink on your block, which this is the test, right? So this is why we printed first on cards. Mm -hmm. So when we're gonna roll up your block for the t-shirt, maybe just put a bit more ink on there. So we're just gonna think about where we're going to place our leaf design. And then we can go ahead and load up our blocks. Maybe add a little bit more ink this time because we're printing on fabric. Can you do it on pretty much like any fabric? Yeah, any sort of flat weave fabric, like linen or canvas, you can easily print on. Another really fun idea is to print onto like an artist quality paper, frame it up and hang it on your wall. We can go ahead and lace our block onto our t-shirt. Again, just nice, even, firm pressure. Just make sure you get the edges really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, two. Three. Looks good. <laughs> nice. Love it. That was honestly really simple. I, if I can do it, you can do it at home. Thank you so much Opus Art Supplies for having us here at their downtown store to try out block printing. My name is Julia Dilworth. And I'm Sherilyn Kuno. Thanks so much for watching and try this at home. <laughs>